you got to treat women the same. You still got to do the no validation. You still got to be unavailable. You still have to progress to sex and make moves on these girls. Even the girls that say that they're religious and they don't do that. Yo, what's going on, y'all? So today, we're about to be talking about why you should treat all women the same. You have to treat all women the same, okay? The reason why a lot of you guys, and I kind of talked about this before, but I just had a subscriber ask this comment. I mean, this question in the comment, and I'm about to read it. But go ahead, hit that subscribe button, like, comment, share, check out your boy's Patreon, check out uh, the Discord. We building a whole community over here, young and disciplined gang, man. We, we getting it up. We, we up over here. So basically, this is the reason why a lot of you guys lose the girls that you really like. Even if it's not immediately, it happens over time. And it usually happens because you start to think that you met a unicorn, right? You start to think that you met some special girl that's just so different. You know, she might knock your socks off or whatever the case. So let's read what he said and let's get into this. He commented and said he loves women's personalities and that's the issue, right? That the ones with the most personality out of the women is what makes him want to go from being a bad boy back to a nice guy. He said, I wanted to see if you had a type of strategy or some type of way to get past falling for their personalities. So now look, this is the thing. I'm sure most of y'all can relate to this. This is why I wanted to make this because I used to do this same shit. Now I got my notes here. We're about to go through this and make sure I hit all the points on what which y'all got to think. Every now and then you're going to meet a girl that knocks your socks off when it comes to her personality. So she'll have a good personality. Y'all gonna click. Y'all gonna have different things in common. She's gonna be more feminine. She's gonna be more submissive, you know, and in your own mind, I wanna make this clear. It's only in your own mind, bro. You'll start to tell yourself, oh, she's so different than the other girls. She's not like the other girls, right? Even though this girl is still a girl, she's still a woman, and you don't really know what be going on in her head. You just see a little bit of how she you know, presents herself. And a lot of times us guys, we create our own delusions about this girl. So it's not even really her no more. It's just what we created about her in our own head. And we start to think, oh, she's so different than the other girls, you know, and then that's what this, this is what starts happening. You know, a girl sets dates easy. She go on dates. She make everything smooth. Y'all having sex, whatever the case, right? Y'all can talk and have deep conversations. All this, whatever it is, you think, oh, this is different than my other experiences. We laugh together. And so you start thinking, you know that nigga YND, the light-skinned dude on there with the fucking braces and the curly hair? Fuck that nigga. That's what you start thinking. Man, fuck that bitch-ass nigga. Fuck them strategies he talking about. Nigga told me to be unavailable. Man, fuck that shit. Masculine frame, seductive, low tonality. Man, fuck that bitch-ass nigga. I ain't doing that shit. This girl like me, for me, and I found me a special girl. I found the one. I don't need to do none of that shit. Now, when you start to think like this, you need to tell yourself, this girl is not special. No the fuck she ain't. She's not special. She ain't no different than the other girls. Women are women, guys. I want y'all to understand that. Women are women. When you start thinking like this and you say fuck the strategies or fuck all this shit, what you start doing is going back to your simp, nice guy, beta male behavior. And that's what he's dealing with. He goes back to that behavior and then you end up losing the girl and you say, wait, what the fuck happened? It's because you have to treat all women the same. This is case in point. That girl right now that you think is so special, if you start validating her, I promise you that she's going to lose interest. If y'all, if you think that you could just have this homeboy friendly relationship with this girl, you ain't got to fuck or, oh, she not on that sex time or whatever you think. I'm telling you, this girl is going to lose fucking interest. If y'all just sit on the phone and talk for hours and hours, just sit and talk. You give her all your non-sexual attention and all your validation. You caked up giving her all your time. She not going to say it. She going to act like she appreciate it. And she probably does to some extent. But she's still going to lose interest. This is what y'all don't understand about women. And when you keep, li and it's nothing about listening to what women say. Women will comment on this video and all my videos or watch my shit and tell me that none of my strategies you know, are good or work. As if I just got on the fucking camera and just started making up shit for the fucking fun to make up shit. No, I used to do the same shit y'all did. I used to do the nice guy sim shit. I did this shit. I made a video recently about validating a girl too much and I, I know better as a dating coach, but I did it because I thought she was super attractive and I thought I could get away with it because the way she was acting before. You never fucking treat women different, guys. And they'll say, oh, that shit don't work in this. But this is the thing. The reason why these strategies, I know they work is because I fucked so many girls off of doing this shit. And before I did it, 
I wasn't getting no play like I do now and like I have been for years ever since I started implementing all of this different shit that I've learned and figured out. It's the same thing for a lot of you guys. Just look at the fucking results. The results speak for themselves. Yeah, when they hear a video or if you watch a video, it might sound excessive or crazy, but I'm telling you guys, you try this shit and I got guys already giving me testimonials saying, hey man, you know, this shit done helped me in three weeks and helped me with this girl and that girl more than it has the other guys I'm watching. And, and, and guys will tell you that's doing this shit. There's other data coaches that watch me that follow the same stuff and they say, man this shit has fucking helped me you see what i'm saying now another thing i want to say is that a lot of you guys is going to drop frame that's another thing y'all will start doing so this is when you start getting comfortable in a relationship and you start talking like how i'm talking now or you get too fucking friendly and you lose that masculine chill you with your girl you know you're talking to her baby tell me about your day how was your day today okay Okay, yeah, you went, you hang out with your friends, y'all had brunch, what you get from there? Oh, you get into this, what you do today, baby? You got brunch, what you get, what you get from brunch? Yeah, baby, I know, yo, baby, you got that, yeah, you got that brunch. You start acting like a fucking goofball and weird and shit, okay? And you think that you don't have to keep doing this shit, I'm telling you, because you're like, oh, she not gonna care, she's different. But, guys, I've had this happen to me. That, that's the whole thing I'm about to get into. I've had this happen to me. I've had girls that were more woke they was more conscious, deep type of girls and religious girls. And I thought they wasn't on the sex talk or they made it seem like they wasn't on that. But then before you know it, this motherfucking girl pulling back saying she don't know what a relationship is going to. She don't know, you know, where things are headed. And I actually had a consultation like this. I had I had a consultation like this and I had uh, some guys on Discord I was talking to where this in private chats where this shit happens to them and they can't figure out why. And I'm telling you, it's because you got to treat women the same. You still got to do the no validation. You still got to be unavailable you still have to progress to sex and make fucking moves on these girls even the girls that say that they're religious and they don't do that shit now i'm not fucking saying you force yourself on the girl okay why ain't these said i gotta make a fucking progression so bitch here my dick what i think it's tripping I'm not saying you send your fucking dick out of nowhere, but what I'm saying is you still make the progressions, even though her words might say, oh, I don't care about that that much or whatever the case. I'm telling you, the women are women. If you start validating too much, too many compliments, too much time, too much attention, you start putting them on a pedestal, you start putting them first in your life, you fall in love with their personalities and you think these these nice, sweet girls, this girl's going to turn into a fucking demon. The girl that you think is the uh, bitch that treated you like shit, Okay, whether it's your baby mama, your ex, and she was fucking with you with your livelihood or whatever the case. The feminine, nice, submissive girl that you think is good right now in a unicorn, I'm telling you, she has the same potential to do the same shit. You have to keep that in mind. And what helps me when I'm talking to women and I think they got nice personalities or I think they so feminine is I recognize that they feminine because one, they going off of how I act, right? They going off of how I act right now. And I know if I stop acting like that and I go to the nice guy simp behavior, she's going to start being a bitch. I understand that. And another thing I start to think about is the fact that when all women are capable of doing this shit, I start thinking of girls I know that had nice personalities and bubbly personalities and was so nice, but she had a fucking boyfriend and she over here fucking me. This is the shit that I think back to and I say, yeah, I know this girl ain't shit. And I don't let myself get so wrapped up into that. You, do y'all see what I'm saying? Women are women. They gonna all have these little same tendencies. They all got similar desires and what they want. Now the timeline for how that look, I tell you guys, not every girl, that don't mean every girl's trying to fuck the first night, but every girl wants to fuck. Not every girl is going to, you know, be the, uh, a nagger or, or super emotional, but all girls compared to us, or at least how you should be carrying yourself as a man, is going to be more emotional. She's going to have her moments and her episodes. Every girl, no matter how much she say she like all your attention, is going to want space. She needs time to miss you. All of the same shit applies, okay? And this the thing. Every time I started simping and doing the nice guy shit, and I think, man, I can break these rules and just finally be free. Every fucking time, they lose interest, okay? And they end up saying they don't think this is going nowhere. They think we'd be better off as friends and all of this stuff. And usually, these are the girls that you like the most, Okay, these are the girls that you like the most. So you got to really be mindful and pay attention to, okay, am I starting to like these girls a lot? How am I starting to act with this girl? Okay, I just seen this girl yesterday. I don't give a fuck that she's saying she want to see you again tomorrow. You busy. You got something to do. The same way you would act with the five, sixes, and sevens that you deal with, this is the same way you got to treat the eight, nines, and tens. That's what I'm trying to get y'all to see. Because think think back to the sixes and the fives and the sevens and shit that you deal with. Hopefully y'all, I mean, five is like an average girl, right? Average looking. But if you're dealing with like a, a, a six or seven, right? These girls is like cute, right? They decently cute girls. These girls usually that you look at like this, 
you don't have no issue not giving them that much time, not validating, telling them how good they look or giving them compliments or saying, damn, girl, you look good. Like, damn, I like that ass, baby. The little shit like, you ain't gonna be doing none of that shit because you don't, she not that fucking hot to you. She don't fucking get you going like that. But these girls that you think is so feminine and cooperative and all of this shit, you start wanting to give them all of that. But what starts to happen is you start to become off low value. And I tell you guys, women want guys that they perceive as being more valuable than them. That's pre-selected. And when you start treating women like this, now you're putting her on a fucking pedestal, right? When a nice guy simp come out, you putting her on a pedestal and she don't look at you like up here no more. You start to come down here and then down here and down here. And she starts to say to herself, damn, I think I can do better than this guy. Damn, this guy ain't high value like I really thought. Damn. I think this guy loves me more than I love him. He likes me more than I like him. He wants me more. They, you never want it to be like that. You never want the girl to feel like you like her more than she likes you. The only way, I'm being honest, and this is my philosophy, but I really think it's facts. The only way the relationship is going to work, guys, with a man and a woman and with you and your woman is if the woman likes you more than you like her. If her feelings is more involved and her interest level is up here, yours can be here. I'm not saying down here. I'm not saying it got to be low moderate. It can still be here, but her shit got to be up here. It has to be because this is what's going to keep her in that position of chasing after you, thinking about you, chasing your validation. But when she starts getting it, this is where the girl going to pull back and shit like this. And I've had these mistakes and I usually only make mistakes like this, guys, with the girls that I think are the eight, nines and tens, right? And nowadays I really don't make this that much. Sometimes I think I can get away with shit and I do and I say fuck it, right? Or I try different stuff just to see if I can play around with strategies. But I'm telling you, this shit is almost tight knit sealed. If you treat them different like this and you start thinking, oh, this is special girls, they don't want stuff that other girls want or i don't have to follow this rule fuck with that motherfucker ynd talk about brace face bitch you if you start thinking like this then yeah you're gonna lose the girl i'm telling you but do what the fuck y'all want to do you'll see it uh i think this brother see it and i know some of y'all probably got this question i just want to make this more clear like comment subscribe i will see y'all next time peace